I've got a deep voice because I am sick. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, this last week has been another fun one. <laughs> um, two videos I had uh, come out. Number one, I made a video on making a second type of a chisel plane. And uh, this one is a very, very, very simple project. Uh, just a couple magnets and uh, an old plane iron and voila, you have a chisel plane. Um, so that was, a, that was a fun one to do. I'm thinking about doing a third chisel plane video because I want to do one with a bevel down and a chip breaker. Um, something a little bit different, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the second video was a shooting board. And uh, a shooting board is a very simple tool that uh, really everyone should, should try. It is a, a fantastic way of cleaning up the ends of boards. Even for power tool people, if you want to clean up the saw marks on the end of a board, this is fantastic and uh, it's a great project. So for this next video, uh, the next week, I'm going to have two other videos. One of them is going to actually be making a, a bent compass. Um, in other words, let's say you want to make an arc written on, uh, drawn on a board, but you want to have like a 10-foot radius. Um, I mean, you're not going to get a compass out with this 10-foot beam to draw the circle. So how do you actually make a stick bend and stay at that shape so it is very useful? So I'm going to be uh, playing with that. And then the Saturday video will be <clears throat> this sucker. So I'm putting a new leg vise on my bench, and this is the, the cherry chop that I made for it. And then I will also be using uh, this wooden screw from Acer Ferris. Um, this is just absolutely gorgeous, and I'm really looking forward to this video. It is fun. I, the, uh, the screw, the retention ring, is this large brass um, split ring. So, yeah, it's going to be a really, really cool video. Now, if you guys could actually help me out with something, I have a question. Uh, these shop updates usually get about uh, 15, 1600 views, uh, which is great, but um, most of my videos are now getting between four and 6,000 views. So the lower views from these shop updates are actually dragging down uh, my YouTube performance. So I'm thinking about changing that up. And uh, so I have a couple options. Number one, I'm thinking about opening up a second channel. Would by right two, um, I don't know. <laughs> Another one, I, I might move them completely over to Patreon because those are the, the core people who are really interested. I might do that. I might move to um, just putting them out once a month as opposed to every single week um, or doing away with them altogether. So I'm gonna leave a poll up here that you can actually click on and vote for what you want me to do with them. And I'd love to hear your option on that. Uh, so please click on that and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, this week on the Crafted Podcast, which will come out uh, tomorrow on Wednesday, this will uh, actually be kind of fun. We have a guest on, Bob Claggett from I Like to Make Stuff. And I want to say a huge congratulations to Bob. Um, he just hit 1 million subscribers, which... Um, Wow, a million subscribers is, is incredible. So uh, yeah, definitely, if you want to see some of the questions we ask him, uh, you can check out the podcast. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This summer, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of traveling, and I'm going to be all over the Midwest and the East Coast, so there are going to be several opportunities for a meetup. Um, number one, in March, I'm going to be out in Virginia and Pennsylvania, and so I'm thinking about doing a, uh, a hangout in like the Lancaster or um, right on the coast or possibly down in Virginia, maybe D.C. Uh, so let me know if you're in that area. I might be able to do a, a meetup around that way. Also, I'm probably going to be down in Atlanta at the woodworking shows, um, and then I'm going to be in the Milwaukee woodworking shows. I'm going to be going to Handworks, which is out in Iowa. Um, I, mean, I should be going to the Midwest Tool Collectors Association National Meetup. Uh, so a lot of great opportunities coming up, and really I would suggest going out and looking at what are the uh, conventions this year and uh, where are things going to be. There's a lot of great opportunities for learning and meeting people, so definitely look those up and let me know if you're going to be at any of those. This week's Patreon question of the week is from Travis Reese, and he asked, when is it best to cut off a piece as to planing down to it? And uh, so like you have a board and you need to take off a quarter inch. Um, is it quicker to take the saw and cut it off, or is it quicker to take the plane and plane down a quarter inch um, to the line? And uh, that really kind of depends on your skill and where you're at. Uh, for me, on an average board, if it's a quarter inch or more, I'm going to cut it. 
Um, if it's a quarter inch or less, I'm going to plane it. So that's kind of where I draw the line. Uh, but the other question is, do you want to save that material? Sometimes those thin strips of an eighth inch or so um, are actually kind of valuable. Have a, a flexible stick that might be usable for inlay, uh, especially if it's any valuable wood that is uh, useful for that type of thing. So that's kind of where I draw the line is about a quarter inch. At that point, I can take a plane and I can plane it down just as fast as I can cut it. Um, but yeah, sometimes I might want to save it. So that's kind of up to you and what your skill level is. This week's shout out goes to Tim Sway. Um, if you've never seen his channel, you've got to check it out. He does um, reclaimed woodworking and uh, everything he does is from the scrap pile and the junk pile and he makes amazing things out of what most people consider to be trash. Uh, and it's a great way of re-looking at the world and seeing what's going on. So definitely check out his channel. Uh, he just made this oak chest that is fantastic. A really, really beautiful job and uh, a cool way of doing the joinery on it. So that is really cool. Uh, the other thing is that all of the music you hear on this channel from the intro um, to the uh, the clips that are running through some of the build videos, um, at least for the last several months, um, have actually been written and composed by Tim Sway. So he's the one who actually does the music for this. And if you're ever looking for specific music, um, he does um, music and uh, does a really, really fantastic job of it. So uh, he just created two more um, soundtracks that I'll be adding to some of these uh, videos. So yeah, a lot of fun. So that's about it for this week, and I am having a lot of fun and looking forward to some of these upcoming videos. Uh, if you would like to be notified when I upload those videos and uh, would like to get an email about other things that are going on or inspiration or things that I find interesting, I've now started an email list, and I will be sending out uh, regular notifications of videos as well as um, a weekly inspirational uh, list of things that I have found inspirational. So if you want to see that, I'll leave a link to the description below where you can sign up on the list. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit like and go ahead and click that subscribe button. I also want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason this channel is here today. If you'd like to find out more about that or be entered into the monthly giveaway, you can find out more over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.